Yo, so I'm finna leave uh, work right now. It's late at night. As you guys can see, it's 31 degrees, which is uh, pretty red for Alabama, but uh, my, yeah, my windshield's frozen. I gotta scrape that off. Um, check out this, though, my, my window. It's, uh, it's frozen shut somehow. The other one rolled down, but uh, yeah, this, this is gonna be fun. Yeah, you guys can see it's like all uh, sparkly and icy. Pretty much everywhere. Top, all that good stuff. Let's see if I can't like uh, free up the window or something. It's like frozen shut somehow. Never seen that before. Never had power windows, so this might be pretty common. Don't know. Alright, let's see if that works. Let's see here. Oh yeah, there we go. Back in business. Now I'm just gonna scrape this off. Alright, so a little update here on the JKU. That 37 just sold this morning. Yes, I know. <laughs> we only had those for like a couple of weeks probably, but uh, I'm in the process right now of cutting the fenders, as you guys can tell. Same method as the uh, fender cut video that we have, that we did on Big Sauce. Doing the same thing, tapering it in on the bottom. Same thing on the top, four inch flare. Gotta be doing the same thing on the rear too. Got these temporary Rubicon tires, the rollers, until we find what we really want. Probably gonna be looking at some ATX slabs again, and then possibly some 40 inch right. tires. That is that, there is one down. I actually do have them all uh, taped off, marked up and everything, so all I gotta do is just finish cutting. But uh, basically to save time on this one, did something a lot easier. I just went ahead and took all the bolts out, unplugged the electrical, and just cut the fender how it was and then pretty much just ripped it off so i'm gonna peel this back a little bit to make sure i could get this cut all the way without hitting the panel but yeah that saves a lot of time i wish i could go back and do that on the tutorial but that was just something to kind of share with you guys there looks kind of cool with no inner fender I think my Dremel's broken. You guys, you hear that? Yeah, I think it's time to get another one of these puppies. Maybe I can get a warranty return. All right, so the fenders came out pretty clean. Uh, I want to say they're pretty much the exact same is the way we did it on Big Sauce on our uh, last tutorial video. Came out really clean, got everything pretty much the same as it was. So that's nice to see. Yeah, you guys can tell um, it's 
stock wheels and a four and a half inch lift. This thing is sky high, high in the sky. We do still have stock control arms. Um, there actually are a lot of people, believe it or not, um, on Instagram that do have stock control arms with 40 inch tires. And a lot of those people you guys actually probably follow. I'm not gonna name any names because I don't wanna sound like I'm like calling anybody out or anything. But uh, yeah, hopefully within the next month or so, we'll be getting some rock crawler control arms to kind of make everything sit nicely. You guys already know we're uh, filling up the old farm truck because we're about to pick up big sauces, old 40 inch tires and slabs from big sauce. So, pretty cool. Alrighty guys, there they are. Big sauce. Check them out boys. All right, back to the house. Tires are unloaded, just gotta paint them, obviously, because we don't want uh, gecko green to go with that. I don't think that would be um, really anybody's choice of color, to be honest. But uh, anyways, besides that, Jeep is in the garage. We got it all set up here. Gonna pretty much just try to paint those really quick and then slap them on because it's already lifted. It's got the wheel spacers on and everything pretty much already ready to go. So there it is compared to the Jeep. Obviously uh, 40 inch tire is huge. Um, really did miss the 40s a lot. I really do miss the attack slabs too, favorite setup. <laughs> 